Ben Becknell has survived his share of storms. But the Plaquemines Parish citrus grower says no hurricane he has lived through caused more damage to his crop than Isaac. It is the worst we've ever had by far. Dying leaves on his trees marked the level where flood water sat, and he says some trees had as much as seven feet of water on them. The wet ground is littered with fruit, and much of what remains on the trees may not make it to market. I'm thinking we're going to have 10 percent saleable fruit because even the fruit that's left on the tree is so scratched, scarred, um, damaged. Uh, we still don't know what's going what's gonna to hold and what's going to fall. Becknell also estimates that he will lose half of the 2,500 trees in this grove, and the storm's damage will extend into next year. Because we have tree leaf drop, the tree didn't have enough energy to put on fruit and leaves next year for the blossoms, so we can have a reduced crop next year. There's trees and the fall vegetable crops he lost in the storm. But he says he won't until he has his soil tested. We have this time about three inches of, I don't know what you call it, muck from the marsh that we've never seen before. So I don't know what's in that, how salty it is. Before Hurricane Katrina, Plaquemines Parish had more than 1,000 acres of citrus. This year, the parish had 500 acres. If growers don't replant, the area known for its citrus could see its acreage dwindle. With the LSU Ag Center, this is Toby Blanchard reporting.